girls and guys, it's Presley, and today, boy, do I have a story for you. Today, I'm going to be talking about my weird experience with a psychologist. So it all started on Monday when I was in my government class doing my normal school work, and my mom had to go pick me up from school because I had a psychologist appointment. And the appointment was like 40 minutes away, and as soon as I went into the house, there was like this old sofa, it was pretty comfy by the way, this old sofa, this old box computer that with small screen like from the 1980s, Beethoven like music, it was probably like to have like a peaceful environment, soothing, relaxing. I mean it was kind of relaxing but then again it was old music and the worst part, he had dead plants in his room like dead plants my mom noticed that he had dead plants like dead leaves peeling and yellowish and nasty and all decaying it's just disgusting my mom wanted to peel them off piece by piece so bad and it hurts me to see a dead plant because I have a greenhouse class where my greenhouse teacher teaches us how to take care of plants. And I already have to take care of my librarian's plant and the library at school because her plant was this close to dying. And I took care of it. I was able to take care of it and save it. But those poor, those poor plants that the psychologist had they're far from saving. They're probably up in heaven right now talking to Jesus at this point. Lord bless those plants. <sighs> They're probably far from saving. Anyway, before I had to go into um, the psychologist's office, he wanted me to put on gloves for some reason. I mean, I didn't, I didn't complain too much about it, but... I mean, I had, I mean, I had to, even though he, um, while I was in his office with him, he was touching everything with the gloves and I mean, okay then. Anyway, I went into his office. He wanted to test my knowledge, like some math skills, reading skills, how fast can I do certain things as quickly as I can. And I was able to do some things. I mean, I'm not that smart. I'm not Einstein smart, but I tried my best anyway. And we finally got into the certain psychologist stuff, like, why are you here, blah, blah, blah. And I told him I had a lot of worries in life. I have anxiety, stress. I get lonely every now and then, all that jazz. And after my session with him was over, I had to go wait in that comfy couch. I was really impatient because I really wanted my mom to come back. And it probably hasn't even been five minutes, but while my mom was in there, this man didn't even ask her questions. He was in the middle of writing some certain type of paper for five minutes. And during those five minutes, my mom's got a foot fetish. She told me this, by the way. She was looking down at his feet, and there were the smallest feet on earth. They were probably like elf size feet. He probably could even wear a size six. This is what my mom told me. This is not what I had in mind. I don't have a foot fetish. I never want to look at his feet. But then again, that's kind of odd. But hey, everybody's weird in their own way. Even the psychologist I met was weird, but anyway, on to the story. My mom noticed a machine that that guy had, that psychologist had, and she asked him what it was, and he said it was like in this it was like this long type device that she couldn't even pronounce. And she asked him, "Do people still use those anymore?" And um he said no. And then when she when she told me this part of the story, I was like, well, no kidding. No shit, Sherlock. It's because it's the 21st century. No one's going to use that stuff anymore. You probably just need to throw it away. And why don't you sell your old furniture too? Get in the 
program. Get into the program of the 21st century. We're not in the 1980s, 1970s anymore. We're in the 21st century where we have cell phones. Maybe in the future, we're probably going to have flying cars and flying hoverboards. I doubt it. This is not back to the future, but hey, it could be. We could have a time-traveling DeLorean or something. I haven't seen Back to the Future, but I know certain stuff that happens in the movie. I know I got spoiled, but anyway. As soon as she walked out, she asked for a certain paper or whatever. He asked for something, she asked for something, and uh, he said... Um, well, you're going to have to ask the state of Texas for this, blah, 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 blah. He was being kind of sassy about it, too. And my mom was really, my mom was thinking in her head, please get me the fuck out of here. Let me just grab my poor daughter and let just leave, please. And then he, and then he said, oh, don't you want the excuse note? Because your daughter probably missed school. I honestly didn't miss that much. I only missed two class periods. And we probably didn't do a whole bunch in my class periods anyway. I probably didn't need a school excuse note, but he gave it to me anyway. I had to take it. And honestly, I couldn't care less. But anyway, that psychologist was a weirdo. And my mom couldn't agree more with me. Any, but anyway, a lot of people are weird in their own way. Even I'm weird. Everybody's weird. There's no such thing as a normal human being. Unless you're from a rich family, but that's, that's okay. That, that's, that's completely fine. Everybody's weird in their own way. Anyway, that's all I have to say in this week's video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.